Well, hey guys, um, welcome to the Daily Bits. I'm glad you're here, glad you're stopping by. So, Sunday at 9.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my dad took his last breath. He crossed over, and now he's in God's hand. For the longest time, I never really believed in God. I shied away from it. But I know in his final moments, he was at peace. He was surrounded by all the people who truly loved him. The people that really cared. The people that, even the people that couldn't be there, still poured out the love towards this man. You know, when I was a kid, teenager, I took things for granted all the way up until I was in my 20s where I had to figure out everything myself. My dad always had this thing, you know, work hard, and if you fall, get back up again. He was a fighter. Always considered it whenever I thought about it. I was like, oh, well, maybe he doesn't like me. But he loved me. He loved us all. He was trying to teach us about life. All of us. How to be kind. How to help people. How to not judge people. Just like anybody else, you have your sternness, you have your stubbornness. I've got mine, everybody does. But I've never sit and watch somebody be tore up by a disease. I talk about mental health a lot. And that's horrible. It is. It's its own hell. But cancer is one of the worst things I have ever seen in my entire life. The thing was, as me and my wife was leaving for the night from the hospice, um, was heading home, um, everybody was getting ready for bed, you know, the hospice with my mom, my his sister, his, his mom, um, you know, I was getting ready for bed. Me and my wife just left, kissed my dad goodbye, said, oh, I'll be back tomorrow, because I thought so maybe he'll be here for a little bit longer, because the way he was, um, things were going, it seemed like he was just hanging in there, it was like he was waiting for something. I know what he was waiting for, but that never came. Whenever I got home, I get a call from... From my, you know, I already take my medicine, my sleep meds and everything. First time I took my sleep, sleep meds in a few nights. You know, I, I'm running on very little sleep. Um, very little. Um, you know, I get the call, say, hey, you need to hurry back up. We only live about five, ten minutes away from the hospice. We get there, and he passed five minutes before we got there. I got to tell him I loved him, and I kissed him on his forehead before we left. I didn't know that was going to be the last moment I'd get to share with him. You know, looking at him in the bed, surrounded by the family, you just, it didn't even look like him anymore. I've had this experience several times. Um... You know, my best friend, whenever he died, seeing him in a casket didn't even look like him. Seeing my dad in this hospital bed with his gown on, uh, with a little bracelet, with his information, his eyes are closed, mouth was open, cold, cold. Every person in there had tears going down their eyes. You can see a mother in tears. You can see sisters in tears. You can see his wife in tears. His family that loved him so damn much. I wish that I could have took it away from him. 
that he didn't have to go through that. I wish that my mom didn't have to become a widow. I wish his mom didn't lose a son. A mother and the father shouldn't have to bury their, their own child. That was my dad. And I never realized it. It took me a while. And I finally realized that that's my dad. That's my dad. That's the guy that stepped in when he didn't have to. He could have walked away at any time when I was a stubborn piece of shit kid. But he never did. He stayed there, taught us lessons. I just... You know, you get older and death becomes more common. You know, when you're a kid, you think everybody's just going to live forever. It's all going to be hunky dory. And you know, you know, I've seen my grandma, my grandpa. I've seen friends die. I've seen uncles and aunts die. I've seen people in caskets. I've seen people die, and you never get used to it. Some people become callous to it, like looking at the people at the hospice care, and it just really baffled me. I was like, these people. It just doesn't bug them anymore. I, I, me, I, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I get attached to people. I'm just glad at his final moments, everybody was there for him. That truly loved him. That wanted to be with him. And I know there's people out there that couldn't make it. That truly loved him. That truly knew him. That truly accepted him. That couldn't be there. It doesn't mean they didn't love him less. But there are some people that didn't care. And it's fucking terrible. And I feel like he was waiting for that that whole time and it never came. But that's okay. Those people have to live with that. This man had nothing but love for people. He was brave. He was strong. He was a fighter. He was a fucking warrior. I know that sounds cheesy, but it, that's what he was. He was a caring dad, a loving husband, a loving brother, a loving son, a loving friend. And it's hard to say goodbye. Well, the goodbyes are always hard, but you know, the good thing about saying, is good, saying goodbye is it's not the end. It took me a while to realize that it's not the end. Saying goodbye here is one thing, but you get to see him again, hopefully, if you make the right decision. Get to see him again. That's what I hope. That's what I hope. I'm just picturing it in my mind that he's in a better place. He's not suffering anymore. That's what I'm picturing. That's what I hope. And before he died, he actually got saved. He, you know, which is good, which is great, right? It's hard to lose a parent. At least when he's gone, he knew we all loved him. And I'll be carrying him to the grave. Like he's carried me. Guys, thank you so much for all the kind comments. I know I haven't commented back. Um, I know I haven't said much lately. 
I haven't been replying to comments. I'm just really broken. I'm trying to keep this commitment going that I promised I would do. And I'm not going to quit. Be putting something together within the next few weeks. Be a memoriam type video for him. Um, this video will not be monetized. That video will not be monetized. I tried to turn off monetization for the shorts, but for some odd reason, it doesn't allow you to manually turn off shorts uh, monetization. Don't know why. That's just the way it is. Um, luckily, you don't make anything really from shorts, despite what some people will say. Um, but long form videos and the daily bits, uh, stuff like that, that's not going to be monetized, especially when it's about this. I'm not going to make profit off somebody's death or suffering. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And if anybody does it, they're just pieces of shit, honestly. And somebody to wish cancer on somebody, and you still support that person, you're the fucking problem. I love you, Dad. I'm, I really do. I'm going to miss you. We're all going to miss you. You have a whole community that was praying for you. That's here for us. We're all here together. We fight together. We grow together. And we love each other. Guys, I'll see you soon.